you have the following symptoms with your microwave, you likely have a bad door switch. First, if your microwave is telling you to open and shut the door, even though you've already done it. The second one would be if the fan and turntable are running while the door is open. The third is if the counter counts down during cook, but the microwave doesn't actually start. And finally, if both the turntable and heat don't work, but everything else works in the cook cycle. In this video, I'll show you the four most relevant ways to tell if a door switch is bad. So what do microwave door switches do? In your microwave, you're going to find what's known as a latch board contains usually three switches in it. Purpose of these switches is to tell the control board whether the door is open or closed, also to activate the heating circuit, and to protect the user from microwave energy exposure. First things first. How does a door switch work? The door switch can have up to three leads on it. This one is always a common, and this is the most common lead for them to have, and this is called the normally open. Sometimes there's a third lead or only a third lead, and this is normally closed. Normally open means that when this button is not depressed, you have no continuity between here and here, which means that you have an open circuit. Now when you press the button, you should have about zero ohms of resistance. I've got the common and the normally open leads connected. When I press the button, you can see the ohm meter drops down to about zero ohms. You got a little bit of resistance in the leads, but that's, that's basically zero ohms right there, almost zero ohms. Now the normally closed is gonna be zero ohms, approximately zero ohms before the button is pressed. So when I press the button, it opens, it becomes open, an open circuit. So you have no continuity, high resistance. When I go to the button, it goes back down to approximately zero ohms. So that's how a micro switch works. Okay, on to the four most relevant ways to tell if a door switch is bad. This is the operation of a normal door switch. You're going to hear it click. You have a nice solid click as it makes and breaks its connections. This door switch right here has a recessed button. You can't even click it, you can't even press it. If you see a door switch like this where the button is flush, that door switch is bad. That's the first one, that's number one. Number two, this button is not recessed, but if I press it, it doesn't click. So there's no internal action inside the switch. There's nothing that's making or breaking connections. It doesn't click. So that's a bad door switch. Heat stress connections. If you see these connections like this, that are heat stress, this is a new switch right here. This is a new switch. This is one that's highly heat stressed internally. So it's not making a very good internal connection because it's been damaged by heat. A lot of current goes through these door switches and they get damaged over time. So you can hear it clicks, but this switch was bad and had to be replaced because it's highly heat stressed. If you see, high, if you see heat stress connectors like this, then it's a good idea to replace that switch. Finally, a door switch can actually click like this, but still not make continuity inside. The uh, actual contacts are damaged. So when I press this button, I should be getting close to zero ohms. I'm not, I'm getting 12 ohms. So 12 ohms is not low enough now I'm getting 75 ohms. When the contacts are bad, you get very, very inconsistent readings. You should be getting close to zero ohms every time. So now I'm bouncing around 300 to 20 ohms to 300 ohms. So no current's going to be able to go through this because it's very, very high resistance. This, this door switch is bad, even though it clicks. This is not as common of a case, but if you're experiencing any of those symptoms described earlier, and you're not able to find any of those physical manifestations of a bad door switch, then you'll need to do a continuity check, which is again, not that common, but it does happen. So there you have it. The four most relevant ways to find out if your microwave has a bad door switch. That's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting and informative. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel.